What's up, hustlers? It's your boy JC Hustles back here with another reaction video. In this reaction, I got my brother to help me react to this video. Go follow Sessions with Sion on YouTube, S underscore the bike man on Instagram. And the reason why he's gonna be a special guest uh, to help me out with this reaction is we're gonna react to a very popular YouTube channel that if you're a reseller or interested in reselling, you've probably heard of them before. They made a video on how they made six figures reselling stuff online in 2020. Yes, the year of the pandemic, the year where everybody is saying this is a trash year, Worst year ever. There are still entrepreneurs out here winning, right? So we're going to react to that. But without further ado, let's get into it. What's up? It's the Shark Damon John here, and I want to shout out JT Hustles. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Hello, Kelly. Hey. Everybody say hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to show these, <laughs> those are great folds actually. I wanted to show these two t-shirts so you guys can see um, some, some kind of higher end t-shirt sales as well. Neither one of these were on eBay. Both of them sold for us on Instagram, which is another big part of our business. Bro, as a reseller, first of all, how long you been reselling? Two years. Yeah, Bro, two years. how you feel about selling stuff via Instagram? Because I think I never really thought about reselling via Instagram. Me either. Never yeah. thought about that. This Zelda t-shirt sold for $225, wow. and then this anime t-shirt sold for $500. Wow. So pretty expensive oh, t-shirts sold direct on Instagram, so no fees or anything like that on those. And yeah, and then here's all the eBay orders that went out today. Thank you, Callie, for shipping those. Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. Lots of shoes. And then speaking of shoes, the lovely Crazy. Allison. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ali's going through, this is a bunch of wholesale shoes that just came in for us. So we're going through that and sorting it into wholesale lots that we will resell on to other resellers where they can still make a decent profit. Does it look like I know what I'm doing because I'm literally just trying to empty a box. Not doing this right. <laughs> I think it does, yes. But good brands in here, obviously, as you, you guys can see, like, uh... You ever thought about that, bro? Doc Martens. Buying and, stuff uh, in bulk? And then oh, selling it in bulk so to the resellers. Never part thought about as well. Uh, this is selling it in probably more than half. But I always buy stuff in bulk. I love large wholesale bulk. orders Never like this. Breaking them up again. and selling them in smaller amounts for a little bit of profit to other resellers. Okay. And then same thing over here. This is a ton of vintage t-shirts. All of these have already been lotted up. So again, just to give you an idea, these are already lotted up. We already have pictures of them. These will all be dropped as wholesale lots on our website. So all of these are ready to go onto our websites and all of them will be sold. And this is like I said, at least, at mm -hmm. least half of our business now is wholesale coming in, breaking it down. Oh, and that's half of their the six boxes, figure business. They just reselling to other resellers. Yeah, that's game right there. I didn't know that. Really? Right now. Really? really? Loudest taper in the Wait, game. Two I'm just gonna say, like, well, you guys get it. Just boxes of shoes. shoes. <laughs> I so ain't been moving a lot of shoes. Right yeah. Gordon around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I declined it. I have it up for $250 right now. $250? No way, he plays. Love it. You gotta pay for it. What? That's expensive. Bye. That's a lot. A t shirt, yo. Bro, I ain't even think about selling business in 2020 mm. has been buying out large mm. collections of vintage t-shirts, 80s and 90s, good quality t-shirts. And sometimes we'll sell them individually, and sometimes we'll break them up and put them in wholesale lots. Who so that got other old resellers have bro. access to good inventory yeah, I, because 2020 market. has been a weird year. I mean, you I mean, could get them from the flea market. Good, a lot high quality vintage inventory. And this resell them on eBay. Man, hey, it's another 6,400 right square feet of unfinished space. We haven't done anything with this yet, but it's just another 
it's another building that gives us the room to expand if we want to do that in the future. So I've kind of shown you guys more about our business, right? But I, I really want this video to clarify that we are we're not just an eBay selling company. We have multiple revenue streams coming into our business, and I want to tell you all of the different revenue streams that the business has. And I'll break okay. down I what our projected those. revenue is for 2020 from each one of those streams. But I wanted to I want to share those with you guys because I just want to say how important it is. Link to their channel is down in the description below. Like Go follow them, show so them some love, let them know JCL's you're relying ascension. on it for income. I think it's really important to have a multifaceted business where you have these different revenue streams bringing you money every single month. So if one of them starts dying down, you can rely on a different revenue stream. So that's, Thanks. you know, Multiple our focus, we've been bro. growing our Absolutely. business, our focus has been, let's add an additional revenue stream, let's add an additional revenue stream. And now we have a bunch of them that are all generating income for us. So let me break down each one individually so you can get a better understanding of how our business is structured. So obviously eBay, we sell on eBay, we have multiple eBay stores, and on those stores, that's where we sell the individual items. So the stuff that we find at garage sales, the stuff that we find at thrift stores, some wholesale, if we get a wholesale item in that we think will be better on eBay selling individually, Sometimes we'll do that as well. You'll have to excuse me too, guys, if I'm sweating. Uh, I wanted to film in this building, but it's, it's not air conditioned, it's hot in here. So bear with me, no judgment. So eBay, eBay will generate about $150,000 in gross revenue for us in 2020. Next is Amazon. So Amazon, we, we don't focus on as much as we used to. So Amazon, pretty much we only focus on in the fourth quarter of the year. And we used to put a lot more time and effort into Amazon. But now it doesn't really make sense because we're so focused on the other things that we're doing. So our Amazon account will probably only generate about $20,000 for 2020. The next big one is mentoring. Obviously we teach people how to do what we do and we do charge for that service. And I know that's a question all the time. A lot of people are like, don't you make more money from mentoring than you do from selling online? And the answer is it has become a pretty lucrative side of our business. So with our mentoring, we have four to five classes per year, depending on how many people we want to take on. And on average, it generates around $150,000 of revenue into the business. So yes, we make money from doing mentoring. We don't make as much money because that's not- And there's nothing wrong with that either, right? If you have a skill or if any content creator has a skill, whether it's how to sell, how to fix something, how to market something, whatever it is, right? There's nothing wrong with doing the business and making the money and charging people for it as well, right? It is a broke mindset to have if, oh, if you making so much money doing this, why don't you do this for free? So if you don't like their content because they're not giving you away enough stuff for free, then you can watch one of the other 30 million YouTube channels that have content uploaded on it, right? You don't have to watch that person. That's just my two cents on it. Anything you want to add, bro, before we keep it going? Nah, you keep it going, man. I'm enjoying this. All right. Total focus so we don't make as much money as some of these other like online gurus But we try to focus on really teaching people good information that they can go out and use and make money And we've mentored over a thousand people now and we have very good testimonials You can go and look at some of them on our website The next mentoring class we have will be at the end of this month So signups will be at the end of August and if you want to get an email to join that class We only take on 75 people at a time you can just go to our website and enter your email address and you'll get an email. But yes, we make money for mentoring and in 2020 we'll do about $150,000 through mentoring. Next is wholesale. So wholesale is the biggest portion of our business for 2020. We weren't as focused on it in 2019, but because of everything going on in 2020, it's become a huge part of our business because people need product and they're not able to source as much. So wholesale for us consists of selling to our students who are part of our mentoring group and then also selling vintage on our VTG room. Roots, Yo, mm -hmm. so it seemed like nothing wrong with this either. Okay. You teach people how to resell. Mm -hmm. If they either don't want to go out and source their own stuff by going to all their own local places, you could sell them the bulk items that yeah. we seen in the previous clips mm -hmm. and you make money that way too. Yeah, now that's smart. And they still make money because you're going to leave the margins mm -hmm. in their form to resell and they know exactly what to do because you taught them what to do with it. Yep. So it's, it's almost like a turnkey business you give yeah. them now. 
website. No. We do vintage drops on our website. We might do something like that, bro. Wholesale yeah. lots to our students as well. So the wholesale side of things will generate right around three hundred and fifty thousand dollars of gross revenue into the company in twenty twenty. And keep that in mind as I'm wholesaling is worth it. At the end, but I'm letting you know the gross numbers. These are not net revenue numbers. This is total revenue coming into the business. Next is YouTube. You guys are watching this video. You probably noticed that there were ads on this video. We get paid from YouTube for making these videos and putting ads on our YouTube videos. So over the past 12 months, just through YouTube ad revenue, we've done about $70,000 in revenue into the company. So I think that'll be about the same for 2020. We may grow a little bit, I'm not totally sure, but around $70,000 a year. The next stream of income is affiliate revenue. So that's like if someone wants to sponsor one of our YouTube videos, if we like the company and they want to sponsor it, Sometimes we'll work with companies and they'll pay us a flat amount to mention them in a video. That and then also we'll link our Amazon supplies in all of our YouTube videos and those are also like affiliate links where we get a little bit of money back. Affiliate revenue is not a huge focus for us. I know a lot of YouTubers like that's a huge part of their income uh, but for us it's just working with companies that reach out to us and putting those links in. So affiliate revenue makes up about $15,000 a year in revenue for us. And then lastly outside sales. So those are all the sales that we do off platform. Platform. So not on eBay, not on Amazon, uh, more on like Instagram, like direct to people on Instagram. We'll post a vintage t-shirt, someone will reach out to us and we'll sell it directly to them on Instagram. And then sometimes also doing like local sales or uh, yeah, doing like local meetups. And we gotta follow them on a, Instagram, bro. Yeah, we, we, we gotta, we gotta, gotta study like how they so post. Yeah. All those different I never thought about Instagram at together, all. Yeah, man, we gotta follow them. Gross revenue for see how they post. Business should be around $800,000. So with all that being said, I just wanna go through a few things to consider because we see these big so they numbers say gross is $800,000 by, again by these like okay. internet gurus saying I made two million dollars last year online and I just want to make sure you guys are like fully aware of all the costs associated with making that amount of money so a few things to consider again I talked about gross revenue that is not net revenue so that $800,000 you have to look at it and go okay well how much money did they actually make after their cost of goods and their other expenses. So I'm not gonna say exactly what the number is because again, we're talking about 2020, we're still halfway through the year. Who knows what's gonna happen throughout the year, but you can get an understanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the reaction there. Bro, what you think of that, bro? Final thoughts before we end this. Man, Instagram where it's at, man. I <laughs> never realized that. That and just by like how they sell wholesale, like you buying it wholesale and then wholesale it again. I never thought about the concept. I would, you would just usually stop at me and I break it now. But they like, man, just get it and then sell it to somebody else. Yeah, man. Man, that's it. And you don't got to worry about who you're going to sell it mm -hmm. to if you're training the person you're selling it to. Mm -hmm. So they pay you to learn how to do what you do. And then you sell them. You know what I mean? The margins are slim because you leave a little meat on the bone for them. Mm -hmm. But hey, this is a very dope system. Yeah. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already. And until next time, so I'm a hustler, stay hustling. JT Hustles, I'm gone.